Good evening everyone and welcome to my day 24 of my 31 days of Ghoulish Terror Reviews. A 24 review is on the 2019 Zombieland Double Tap. I saw this movie today. And the photo was okay. Not the greatest sequel I've ever seen, but okay. Run the game is directed by Ruben Fraser. Writer is Dave Goham. We had Reeves and Paul Rennick. Of course, entire cast return from the first movie with some additional characters. I'll speak to them. I'll speak about them soon. Plot of the film is Columbus. Torheki, which is a little, little rock, moved to the American heartland as they face off against involved zombies, foul survivors, and growing pains of, of the snarky Mark Schiff family. Like previous reviews, or took my likes, disappointment, and dislikes. And I will be talking about dislikes. On the game, Ruben Felicia returns as a director, and he did a good solid job of directing the game. The casting, you know, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, and Mr. Stone and Abigail Brisson all turn as they as they make characters from the first movie, and they just like the first movie. That this is our job. And I find that a real good part of the film. I love, I love Bill Murray enjoying the incredible scene. He brought some humor to the film. The story is okay, but the opening scene. The first, you know, for the minutes, you know, the Columbia logo appeared, which are actually quite hilarious, I thought. To the end of the opening song, it was great. I you loved it to start. And how they added new, uh, how they given names to zombies, you know? Actually, I thought it was actually quite funny. And just like the first one, the was a metal song used in the open credit songs. And, uh, and and it was just as good as the first one. You see zombies getting killed by, you know, the, from the main cast members. Torahesi, Columbus, Richa and Little Rock. All getting in with the kills, which was, which was quite good. Nice um, ki zombie kills, I would check like the first one. You know? One had to get flattened, which I thought was quite cool, and the zombies did it, you know, killed by a, a wit plow off, it was pretty cool as well. Now, with a part of the film, ah, this could probably go be a more rant than anything, which is the disappointment of this film. I was so disappointed the 2019 Zombie Room Double Tap. This movie could have so much promise. I mean, the hell, the guys from the original movie returned to direct and rewrite the script. The only thing that I actually thought were actually good of the film was, you know, from the returning cast members. The story was absolutely what made this movie lack. I like the good humor had, the original one had. You know, the, the, the story was just so lacking. And they, they had a new character to the film, in which I didn't really care about. That new character actually, I thought, or I said the story okay, was um, Nevada. Nevada, I pronounce her name, played by 
Like yeah, uh, Tosin. She did a good job. And you know, two characters appear and they just disappear. You know, the second they appear, which are Will, Luke Wilson and Thomas the middle middle ditch. You know? They appear in the middle middle of the movie and we see them in the trailer, you know, with, you know, t you know, smashing Toheki car, you know, with that big monster truck. And they just a small part. I think in big deal. What's the important even happen? Can this is spoil for you with you? I'm not gonna tell how they how they exit the film. And come to the dislike. One of the worst parts of the film we form I be formed Zoe Dutch. You know, character was Madison. I hated it. I'm thinking, come on, please, die, you know? Get, you know, turn to a zombie or something. You know? We think she was about to, but we find it later in the movie that she didn't. And, and she comes back into the story, and I'm thinking, oh, God, this, this dumb, pointless character is back again. I mean, she's a typical dumb bimbo, and... You know, typical dumb blonde who is just so stupid. Oh, she was just so annoying. The, the worst part of the film. And I, I thought this movie ended like the first one did. You know, lots of track zombies and the zombies run into a particular location. And the zombies just die in that stupid way. And for me, I don't, don't like running zombies. Be stupid. To take the feel away from how a zombie movie should be. When it comes to my verdict of the film, the tracking is good. The script is possible. The returning actors are good in their role. You know, good zombie kills. I really love the opening of the film, how they're given zombies names and stuff. That's actually, actually full of quite funny. And the opening music actually fit the movie so well, like, like they did with the, the first movie. And when it comes to the disappointment, they're saying the characters. They were just there for, you know, for the sake of being there. And the story was reluctant as well. The dislike was, you know, that dumb dimbo and and the way they ended and the like act. And I just don't like how they had another character with over um, a list of things like um Columbus did in the first movie. He had a lot of commandments, not rules. And they're so similar to the Columbus rules. It was just, nah, so dumb. So, uh, this movie is just so disappointing. I can't give this some blame, double tap, a 7 out of 10. Thank you for checking my day 24 on my 31 days of ghoulish terror reviews. If you like what you see, give me a like. And if you've seen some of Double Tap yet, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And if you're new to my channel, great. Join the family and subscribe to my channel.